I have a lot of dual batteries, probably too many of them. These are all for my various cordless power tools that I own. I think all these batteries gave me an idea. If these batteries can power a drill, angle grinder, and the electric saw, then these batteries could probably power other things as well, like the e bikes and electric skateboards. And I could start my own business selling these. So in this video, I'm going to be making first ever prototype electric skateboard that's powered by dual batteries. Let's go. Okay. So to start this project off, I need to find my old skateboard. Sorry, my dog had completely chewed up the wheels, so I went online and I bought a brand new one for $69. Okay, now I have a skateboard, and now I need to somehow make it electric. So, I have an idea. I'm making an electric dirt bike, and if I can use the rear wheel from the electric dirt bike, I could use the motor that I was originally going to be using on this electric skateboard build, then I could have a really sick three-wheeled off-road electric skateboard that's powered by a go-kart motor on a skateboard. So I got out my notebook and started drawing some prototypes. And after drawing some rough sketches that were so bad that if my art teacher saw them, she would probably quit teaching entirely, I was finally ready to go to my shed and start cutting some steel up for the swimmer. Now that the steel's cut, I need to... I tried bending it with brute force, but that didn't work. So, I decided to try my hands at the art of blacksmithing. So I found this old weed burner in the shed, and I'm going to hook this up with some gas, and I'm going to use this weed burner to try and heat the steel up to a really high temperature, and then I'm going to try and bend it. Yeah, it's got a slight bend in it, but only very slight. Okay, so I had no real way of bending this piece of steel. I needed to bend this piece of steel because I'm using a big kinetic steel, and if I made the swing arm without a bend, then the whole skateboard would be in a massive angle. So I didn't know what to do. Then I remembered something. When I was cutting the piece of steel, it bent with its own weight before it was fully cut. So if I cut little slits in the metal, then I could bend it up and then weld it together. So that's exactly what I ended up actually doing. And it worked perfectly. Okay, so I put pieces of steel across there, there and there, and then I finished building the skateboard off camera and I painted it red. Two days later. I need to attach the swing arm to this longboard deck. So I could just keep the four longboard wheels on and then attach the swing arm to the back. That, that means the skateboard would have five wheels and that's just too many. It will be way too heavy. So I decided to cut the longboard basically in half. I've cut the two wheels from the longboard now I'm going to cut a little square inside where I just cut so I can place the motor. So now I've cut these two pieces off the longboard, now I can attach the swing arm directly to the longboard frame. 
I did this using some long bolts and some super strong lock pipe. I also drilled some holes in the deck so I could route the on off switch into the deck and also route the cord from the motor to the controller. Okay, so to attach this motor, I actually have to cut another piece off the deck. I have to cut this little piece off here because if I didn't, then the motor would be wonky and the chain would keep popping off. So I cut this piece of wood off and now as you can see, it's sitting flush on the swing arm. Okay, now it's time to attach this wheel. But first, I'm just gonna quickly break this chain to be exactly the right length. 2,000 years later. Let's go. Hopefully I did it right. Get one washer there. The other washer there. Now he's gonna put the chain. Let's go. Yes. Look at this, guys. It's centered. Look how centered that is. And it's spinning. And look how tight the chain is. Man, I thought I need a chain tensioner for sure. So now let's take it for its very first test ride. Let's go. Oh yeah, and for the controller, I ended up going with the Flipski 75100 because it's small, light, and programmable. And for the remote, I decided to go with this one. It's got a nice display, it shows how many amps I'm pulling and what speed I'm going. And it also comes with a plug and play dongle so I can plug it directly into the controller. In case you guys are wondering, that's a controller I'm using. I didn't get any footage of me installing it because my camera ran out of battery. So I went outside to take it for its very first test ride. Unfortunately it was pretty dark outside, so I decided to wait till tomorrow. And for the power source, I'm going to be using three Azuto batteries all hooked up together in series to produce a nominal voltage of 54 volts. So I do have a 3D printer, there it is right there, but I'm still learning how to use it because I just bought it. So I decided to buy three Power Wheels adapters from eBay for $10 each to hold the batteries on the board securely and it's really handy to have the wires that I can just cut to the right length and solder on. Ah! And then I just drilled holes in the long board deck and routed the wires through it and hook it up to the controller. Okay, let's take this electric skateboard for its very first test ride. Let's go. So I've got the remote here. I charged it up fully. Now it should just turn on. Cool, it's on. Okay. So now I've clicked in three Ozuto batteries. I clicked in three ultra high discharge 5.2 amp hour batteries to give it the maximum amount of performance. Let's see if it goes forward when I let's see if it goes forward when I push the accelerator. Okay, let's test it out. That is an insane amount of torque. Instead of pushing me forward on this wet grass, it just does a burnout. Let's take it to the gravel over there, and then let's take it for a spin up and down the road. Okay, I'm on our driveway. Let's take it for its very first spin on gravel. Okay, let's test out the brakes. This electric skateboard brakes with regen, so I'm never gonna have to replace the brake pads. Okay, so I'm going pretty fast. I'm going 15 km per hour. Now let's see how fast it can brake. That's some good braking power right there. Yeah, let's get up to 20 km per hour and see how well it brakes. Too fast. I barely even tapped that and it almost put it to a dead stop. If I went the whole way, that rear tire would lock up for sure.
Wow, this thing is insane. Okay, that was so much fun. The sun's starting to go down, so I'm gonna go in pretty soon. But I'm just gonna quickly just address a quick issue. So as I was riding it, quite a lot of dust was getting in here, as you can see. It's a bit of dust where the controller is. So I'm gonna make a little three-walled enclosure, which I'm gonna put over the top of it. And then I'm also gonna put some foam in it, so it will sit down and sort of make, keep this controller from just falling out because it's only hot glued in there and it could fall out pretty easily and the foam will just stop water and debris from getting in here and wrecking it. Even though this controller is waterproof, I don't want to find out if it's actually waterproof. So yeah, I'm going to make the enclosure out of this steel. Okay, so I couldn't find any foam so I just ended up stealing a thong that my dog Rusty was chewing and I just put the thong here and I put it in exactly the spot where the controller is so when it sits down here compresses the controller and keeps the debris out of it and then to accommodate that wire there just cut a big slit and so when it goes on it misses the wire it doesn't cut it so i've done a lot of work today i want to come back tomorrow because the sun's down and it's starting to rain i'm going to come back tomorrow and i'm going to actually consume this controller to give it the maximum amount of performance that it can give and then i'm going to take it for a big ride out see you tomorrow Okay guys, this electric skateboard is actually insane. The torque and speed is absolutely crazy. So I decided to try and sell it and see if I can make a profit. So I made an eBay account called Power Surge Store, took lots of photos of my electric skateboard and then put it up on eBay. Here's the listing right now. It actually became semi-viral. It got 147 views and six watches. But I decided to actually end the listing because I started to notice some issues with the electric skateboard. And I didn't want to sell anything to anyone that wasn't absolutely the top highest quality possible. The three main issues with it is that when I clicked in the three batteries and stepped on it, it went in reverse. And to make it go forward, I actually had to click one of the batteries off, make it turn off, click one of the batteries back in, turn it back on again, and then go. And it's a little bit dangerous because if you forget, you can step on it, and with all that 5,000 watts of power, you go backwards, and you could fall off and hurt yourself. The second main issue with it is that the on-off switch actually stopped working. It was stuck in the on position, which is really weird. I don't know why it happened. I think I got sand or something in there, and now the on-off switch doesn't work. And the third main reason why I'm deciding not to sell it is because this electric skateboard is a prototype. It's the first of many. And I don't want to sell it because I want to look back and I would say that's the very first one I made and then I can see how far I am in the future. Part 2 of me starting a business will actually be coming out pretty soon because I've actually already bought a sample from China. I bought an electric longboard and I'm going to hook up some drill batteries to it. I'm going to learn how to use my 3D printer and I'm going to launch a pre-order campaign selling these. I'm going to make them powered by the five main power tool company brands and I'm going to be making a pre-order paint on Shopify. So all of that will be in part two of making a business pretty much. So yeah, look, hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, smash the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. See you next video. Bye. <laughs>